Yo, what is up guys? I'm Dan. I'm back with another craft brew review. Introducing Shorts Brewing Bourbon Barrel Aged Humalupalicious Indian Pale Ale Aged in Bourbon Barrels, a complex bourbon and hop theme park in your mouth. Um, so yeah guys, I pretty much was able to have this about a year ago at one of their uh, big events in Bel Air. Um, it, it was like one of their anniversary parties. They shut down the whole town. It's a huge deal. Those guys pretty much own that whole town. So um, the bad news is I don't remember much about it. I actually was driving that day. So I had tiny sips of beer here and there. Uh, so I don't really remember it. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I really, truly don't remember what this one tastes like. Um, not, not a huge fan of Huma in general. So I'm not sure how this is going to pan out. But um, it's definitely an interesting one. It flies off the shelves. I was able to get it. Um, about a week and a half ago and it's been selling like crazy so um, the last time I was able to get it I, I delayed it a week and the next time the rep came in I wasn't able to get it from Imperial so this is the second round of their release and this time I did put it on the shelves at the store thought it was time to review it guys um, so you know what I don't like about this so far and let me take that back was I was going to say the package date that I don't know when it was bottled, but I do see. Oh, it's hard to tell. If that's right, guys, this is super fresh, actually. So this says, I believe, 12, 14, 18. I was looking like literally before I even turned the camera on, I could not find it. So it's the 26th today. Big deal. 12, 14. This bad boy is fresh fresh and that's why I like being close to shorts because they give me some fresh beer. Thank you Imperial. Got the old shorts chain and a beer cap remover. Bam. Solid hiss on the sucker guys. Throw that to the side. Let's see. Oh that's not good. You know what? I'm going to roll with it. It's all over the carpet. Don't care. I'm still rolling with it. We're not cutting this out. This is this is live, boys and girls. Let's go for the pour. This is probably going to be ruined almost. I got this big glass, and I'm going to pour the majority of it in. We'll clean it up after the video. We don't care. I'm going to go all in. I got the 22-ounce bomber. I don't know why that happened. That was interesting, guys. Um, hey, I'm not going to hide that it spilled out. I don't know why it did, but it did. So, yeah, there's foam all over the floor, but I don't care. I'm rolling with it, guys. Um, let's go to the appearance here. We kind of have a, it looks like a really nice, actually, stone beer, in my opinion. Um, that burnt orange kind of honey thrown in there. Um, you know, dark, dark, dirty orange with, with uh, you know, a little hint, hint of amber brown in there. Um, nice, actually, Dawn Soapy head that's dissipating really quickly with a barrel. I think it's been in the barrel for nine months, so this head should go away completely, but very... Um, cloudy white Dawn soapy bubbles that are um, kind of going away dissipating around there just they're clinging on for dear life there and they should go away um, but yeah guys I got my big ass glass here um, this was a Christmas gift I just thought it was nutty so let's throw the whole bomber in there pretty much um, let's go to aroma I do get the, the barrel. I actually expected the barrel to be a little bit more present, but it's definitely there. Don't get me wrong. And I get a ton of sweet malt in this bad boy. It's very sweet. The malt that's, that's that the, the aromatics that it's given off in this malt is, it's just insanely sweet. I mean, I mean, it's like, um, it honestly reminds me of like sweet, like, cornbread or, or or sugar you know it's like sugar and bread something something with like a pumpkin bread or something along those lines it's given off that kind of vibe to it that's how sweet it is not that it smells like pumpkin but that's the kind of malt sweetness we're getting off this bad boy maybe a hint of orange or something along those lines and you know what i forgot to mention in this a fair amount of vanilla that's why i think i'm getting that bready sugariness in that malt there guys that's what it is it's the vanilla Okay, that makes sense. Let me see. Uh, 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 Huma hop, flavors of charred oak, and sweet vanilla. If I could have just read the label, it probably would have told me. So that's how unprepared I was for this review, guys. Um, whatever, it's authentic. We're spilled on the floor. I gave the aroma. Let's go for a cheers. Cheers, Imperial. Cheers, Shorts. Thank you for the beer.
That's not bad. That's not bad, guys. I thought the bourbon in this would kind of ruin the beer in a way, guys. It's really not. It's accentuating all the characteristics in it. That sweet malt's really present. I'm still getting like a grapefruity orange presence in it from citrus. I would say the vanilla stands out more than anything. I'm definitely getting a little bit of that barrel and, and vanilla um, that's kind of intertwining with with a citrus, nectarine, um, grapefruit rind that's in it. It's not actually like a sweet fruit. It's it's definitely more on the bitter end of it. Um, and it's it's really just the skin that's encasing that fruit there, guys, That the citrus fruit there. Um, definitely nectarine, grapefruit present. The finish is a little bit lackluster for me. I actually anticipated a little bit more bitterness, um, a little bit more hop characteristic. It's almost like everything else is, has subsided that hop characteristic in this, guys. I expected uh, a bigger hop presence, um, this being bourbon barrel aged, but it's like the vanilla and bourbon actually smoothed it over and kind of um, reversed its hop characteristics in a way at the end that smoothed it out. Um, you could either look at that or a good or a bad way for me, it almost leaves it a little lackluster for me. I mean, the bitterness is there for sure. Um, really, guys, it's a lot better than I anticipated. I didn't actually see it being as smooth as it is. Um, I've been drinking some big beers for this winter time, so maybe that is a characteristic that's coming into play here. Um, but I actually uh, don't always love shorts. They are hit or miss for me. I wouldn't necessarily say that this is a miss. I wouldn't say it's necessarily a hit, but I'd say it's good. I would revisit it. I would re-drink it, guys. It's definitely worth your time, worth a try, worth a sip. Yep, I'm not going to keep spinning my wheels here, guys. I'm getting vanilla. Definitely that charred barrel that's coming into play. It's smoothing over that uh, citrus hop characteristic on the back end, but the bitterness is still there. Um, it's drinkable for what it is, 8.1%. Not too shabby, guys. Super fresh, uh, super um, out of the ordinary than usual. You're not usually getting those bourbon barrel-aged IPAs. Um, usually it's that stout porter season. Um, this is a nice change of, pace, change of pace for me, so we don't usually get these. Uh, it was definitely worth my time, worth a try with you guys. Uh, if you have not looked at my videos, hey, do me a favor. Go subscribe, like, comment, do whatever you want. Uh, just view it if you want. And you know what? If you if you don't want to, don't. That's cool too, but you can definitely follow my Instagram. Uh, it's right up here for you guys. And um, I'm definitely going to keep doing this. It's a hobby and I enjoy having fun with it. So, um, hey, I appreciate you guys watching. I'm Dan, uh, a.k.a. Craft Brew Dude, and uh, I will see you on the next one, guys. Cheers.